Hello. I'm trying to get a video film before the housekeeping comes, um, and I have to wait until after they're finished. Uh, that would delay me quite a bit, so I'm going to try and crack uh, at least one uh, political video out on Lindsey Graham. Oof. I love this deck, but it's the zombie uh, tarot. But my little hands. I have to break the deck <laughs> down into quarters. Well, a, as much as I can. Because I don't like to screw up the deck. And plus, I just can't hold all those cards. Oh well, <clears throat> I am certainly no tarot's apprentice when it comes to doing the shuffling. Man, I could just sit there and watch Johnny do that for days. Anyway, I, I love the community online here. There's so many good readers to choose from. Um, readers I recommend are in my featured area, which is, where is that, like, a, um, I think it's down on the bottom part of my, uh, what would you call that, homepage, I guess, you, of YouTube, whatever, <laughs> again. My husband's from England. I just did the most horrible accent. He makes sure to tell me every time how awful. Well, that's okay. I make sure to tell him every time how awful his sounds when he does an American accent. It is horrible. <laughs> okay. Now to the heavy stuff. We're going to look at Miss Lindsay. What's in it? You know, Miss Lindsay's got her panties in a bunch. <clears throat> that is some strong blackmail on him. All right, let's take a look at Lindsay and see what's going on. You know, I have brought on him in the past. You can see the videos um, that are up as to what's he hiding, that kind of thing. Um, I always get escorts, and I think he fell in love with one, or a young man, and I think he was using certain monies to keep him in style, or something along those lines. And I, I think this is, you know, that's, that's where the rub is. I, there's some, I feel like there was something, he may have been using funds or money or something to keep some but one or spending, let's just say, them in ways that are not lawful. That is my suspicion from the cards that I've gotten in the past. It always comes up with something kind of like that. I'm not going to give up yet, Lindsay. I'm going to find out. We're all going to probably find out, seriously. But let's just take a look at Lindsay and let's see what the Zombie Tarot, a very cool deck that has a very funny sense of humor in a very dark way, Let's get that down. What's up with Miss Lindsay? Him being a, a Trump to the end. What's, why? He, what, just what the heck happened to that dude? He used to think 
Trump was the worst, and now he is willing to like act like Trump is the Messiah himself. That was probably my housekeeping letting me know when they're coming, so let's take a little look here for a moment. Yep, nine. So I got a I got a boogie oogie oogie. Okay. <clears throat> Well, we get the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, Two of Cups. It's like a relationship between these two people, or a friendship or connection, and the Two of Wands. These are two... I do not get what this means, but it is pointing out definitely um, an adult woman, air sign, would be pretty ambitious, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking someone in the office, government office. Um, and that King of Wands, it's like this is a team. I'm being shown that these two are going to be, are, are some kind of team. This male and this female. This female of an air sign and a male of a fire sign. Or who will have a bit more of a fiery nature, a bit, a bit more uh, aggressive potentially, wouldn't be as likely to be as soft-spoken. When you wind him up, it, he would be the type of guy to, once he lost his temper, he, he wouldn't be soft-spoken or passive-aggressive. He would be straight up probably in your face. Now, that's a generalization, because he Depending on his nature, if he's well dignified, then he'll have a handle on it. We'll see. Who are these people? To Lindsay, I don't know. I may have to do another reading, but I am picking up on something and I'm not understanding its context, but I'll keep going. Three of Cups, some kind of celebration. And it's falling under the Queen of Swords. The Empress is falling under the King of Wands. This is usually kind of like a wife card, um, or it can do with general well-being, wealth, um, actual assets, that kind of thing, because the Empress is is the, is having what you need, and more, it's enough even that, that you can share and nurture others. It is that, that energy of the mother uh, uh, who gives, and we all know that those of us that have been fortunate enough to have good mothers, um, that they do. They make great sacrifices for their, their children to nurture them. This is the Knight of Cups. You've got to see these cards. Ugh. I put on my, this room I'm mm, is dark, like I always complain, but I, there we go. I just got to tilt the cards so that, that I don't catch the <clears throat> lighting on the wall in back of me. So this is the Knight of Cups, and that's pretty gnarly looking, as you can see. I told you it's tongue in cheek, and this is the zom zombie apocalypse. <clears throat> so there's a bit of cheekiness silliness, kind of like Shaun of the Dead.
I'm trying to read. And it's supposed to be some like department store, Mimbles or some 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 place. Well, the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Eight of Cups. Boy, I need some. You know what, you guys? I do need to get my some bifocals. I was gonna say this doesn't. I'm not getting how this is the Knight of Cups. Where's where's the offer? It's the Eight of Cups. This is abandonment. And it's about leaving. So I'm guessing... <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. Excuse me. Hang on. Okay. So... And I just took my antihistamines, you guys. This whole year has been so rough. So there's abandonment issue with mother or wealth and there's some celebration something here mm. I'm kind of getting some notions but I'm, I'm holding my lip for biting my lip for a minute That's weird. There's a certain total energy coming off of this reading. And I'm worried that I'll have to put this on pause. But if I do, at least I'll have the cards recorded. And I'll just preserve the deck because they could come shortly. <coughs> but let's just go ahead and lay down that third row. The Two of Swords. Do you notice we keep getting the pairs? We got this. Is this the third? Uh, yeah, there's there's a two of cups here, the two of wands here, and the two of swords here. Three twos with Lindsay. Oh, and that's the knight of um, <coughs> pentacles. And this, to me, is his refusal to acknowledge um, Biden's and Harris's win. <clears throat> it looks... And, and to me, this is a woman that is probably... There could be people the transition team. I know that they're holding up um, there's all these meetings that they're supposed to have and Trump's people have said oh oh we're overwhelmed and they probably are but I think it's also because they want Trump's agenda is totally to delay if he can and he he won't be able to he won't be able to and that is when the biggest bubble that has kept him from consequences all his life is going to burst. I'm telling you. And simultaneously, that of his three oldest children. Potentially, Melania. There'll be issues with her because I've seen her leaving him. And I'm not the only one that gets that. We have the Knight of Swords, and that's going down with that Two of Cups, that Eight of Cups, and quickly abandoning. He's going to have to step down. I think Lindsay's partnership with Trump is his own undoing. And he's going to want <clears throat> to move pretty... He's, he's going to make like he is this this really like an aggressive little pit bull is what I get he's like Trump's own personal um, <clears throat> well you can see what kind of card this is mm-hmm well only if this will come on 
Autofocus, please. Looks like World War II. Anyway, hint, hint. Um, I feel like he's Trump's personal guard dog. Barking at everybody for abandoning him in some kind of theatrical, melodramatic ridiculousness. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, he's going to have a... Wow. There's two people he's concerned about. <clears throat> and like I said, they're a formidable team. And he is very concerned about their decisions that they're going to make. And I think we're looking at money here, this guy. Now, I don't know how he figures in. Is this representing the fiery part of Trump? We're certainly getting the fiery part of Trump now at the end of his uh, term. And this is definitely, well, it is about wealth, like I've said, and power and having a great deal of wealth and a pattern of, cre of how one has created that. Now is this man here, is this somebody that's, and I tend to think it could be, that's going to be looking into that? I think so. We'll have to look and see if we don't get a strong fire sign mail that will be coming for Lindsay. Um, right now I just can't think of who that would be. And a woman, which could be Kamala, or it could be Susan Rice, it, any of the, the legal queens that, um, which they're all sharp, but any of those air sign women, um, he's very, he has concerns of, and I, I think most definitely of them coming in. I think, though, Kamala scares him. I do. I think she scares a lot of those guys. Because she's good at what she, at what she does. They don't want especially to, they want to try to forego, I feel like, <clears throat> especially <clears throat> I'm sorry, her being able to ce the, the celebration of her uh, that could be something there, but also these women in general of being able to I, I feel like this is all uh, he's showing this all about the transition stuff and these are people he has to deal with in regard to it And I think they are people that he's highly defensive of. He doesn't apparently want them looking at financial stuff and his life and his connections. And it would have been something that has been going on for a long period of time. Has he been supporting someone? Is this what he's been doing? It's with the with that motherly card financially. We see a very emotional Miss Lindsay here because he's going to have to, he's going to be stuck kind of in a having to make a choice. But I think it's not so much his choice as it's the choices of others that are going to be confronting him 
um, with the new administration. They're just trying to put them off as long as they can to keep them from investigating all, all of them and trust. Um, as you've probably read, we are going to have investigation, so many going on. This is going to take a while. <laughs> I mean years. But I feel that they will go <clears throat> for the main top people quickly. Now, I feel that there's I think he's just going to revert to very childish behavior. Now, isn't Lindsay, isn't he a cancer or something like that? I'm given the, the most childish uh, card that could represent him as a water sign, the card of a child, and having like a tantrum. Because they're at a, when we get to that threshold, that two of wands of where <clears throat> Biden's coming in, I think just like Trump and all of them, the pressure just mounts and I, I don't think they handle it well. We're, a meltdown looks like it's going to occur. He gets the tower and the four of hazards. Now if you look at this individual, this man, he's got his fingers in his ears. And he's sitting with every weapon it looks like he can think of and survivalist canned food <laughs> um, against the zombies who are out the door. And he's, got a, he's smiling, but he's got his hands in his ears. Well, gosh darn it, there we go. Because Lindsay wouldn't budge, and would, it's just, it's going to be a wrecking ball to him. Here's the tower coming in on Lindsay. Because he insisted on pushing Trump. And stubborn about it. And the universe is going to give Lindsay one heck of a bolt that's going to knock down his house. It is really going to re disassemble his life. Um, because, again, with the tower, when you're not living in an authentic manner, and sometimes we don't even realize it, especially when we're people like Lindsey Graham that are very wealthy and have been in power so long they don't know what it's like for most civilians they've become uh, disconnected this says you're going to get reconnected because everything that you have based your life upon your career all of that is going to be taken down is going to come down and you have to rebuild your life and how you do that is up to you. But I see instead he's because he's going to give the universe basically no choice. Page of Wands. That to me is headlines. This is electronic information breaking activity and the Ten of Wands, and he, God, that even looks like, well, it's kind of a, the dude kind of looks like a mixture between Mitch and Lindsay. There we go. That, that is the funny thing about this deck. Um, these little things that you'll notice. He's, going to be under extreme, again, stress and duress. So I think he's expect him to whine, to pe stomp his feet, and 
I think just be in shock and not willing, still reluctant, not just reluctant, but unwilling to um, accept. He's trying to hold on, and his, he can try that all he wants. He's going to get his fingers broken, um, literally, by the stress and the pressure. He's not big enough, and there's not nobody that is going to be powerful enough that will help him um, to endure this. Anyway, my cleaners are here, so I'm going to let you go, but it's... Graham can look and see that his life goes down into the loo. And then we get two sevens. Seven of cups and the seven of swords. I think that's a lot of drink potentially. Not being uh, connected well. Sensible. Realistic. And the seven of swords it's just loss. So he's going to lose big time. 